In this video, we're doing a detailed breakdown of Binance Pay, yet another option that allows you to easily make payments or send and receive money using the Binance platform for free or for zero dollars in charges. When it comes to cryptocurrency transactions, the simplicity of the process is extremely important. And this simplicity is what you get, you know, with Binance Pay. And we're going to go through everything there is to know about this Binance Pay option in this video. Hey guys, it's Visayo here. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Be sure to hit that like button so more people can benefit from all we have to share in this video. Without further ado, let's get to it. First off, what is Binance Pay? Binance Pay is a secure digital cryptocurrency payment system without borders. So what does this mean, all this jargon? Basically, the system allows you to make payments to anyone anywhere in the world. And these transactions made with Binance Pay require exactly zero transfer fees. All you need to do is to have a Binance account and you're good to go. So let's see how it really works. To access this Binance Pay feature, you need to be logged into your Binance account. If you do not have one, then you have to create one first. And it's a pretty straightforward process. You also need to verify this account. So check the step-by-step -step guide in a video that I made about how to verify your um, Binance Pay account with this card up above or the link in the description of this video. For those of you who already have a verified Binance account, well, congrats. All you have to do now is to go to your profile, you click on the profile icon at the top left corner of your phone and then click on pay. After that, the app will require you to set up a username and a pay pin. Ensure that you've selected a username and a pay pin that you can easily remember because you will need them to access this feature in the future. Did that just rhyme? After adding your username and PIN, you will need to perform mobile and email verification. And after that, you are good to go. You can now send and receive cryptocurrencies to and from anyone with either the username, email, or phone number. Clicking on send shows you the portal where you are able to send cryptocurrency via email, phone number, and uh, pay ID. I'm using pay ID for this video. And once I enter that, I can enter the amount, I can click continue, and I can confirm the details. This is where you will get to enter your six digit PIN. Once that is done, your payments will go through and you should get a text message and that confirms it. Clicking on receive shows you your QR code and pay ID. What is cool is that you can specify the amount you want to receive and have a QR code for that amount. So you either send that QR code or you send your pay ID. I sent mine and within one second, literally, I received 50 USDT. You also get these other services like Crypto Box, which is more like a gifting box. You can create a box and distribute crypto to people who have your box code. You can view your Binance Pay history. On the gift center is for gifts from Binance, there's the settings to make changes to things like your payment currency priority, your limits, you can change your PIN and choose if you want to use biometrics like Face ID or fingerprint to make payments. Now that is all cool to make payments and receive payments and all that, but there's more to what Binance Pay can do. And stick with me for a minute here. I didn't know all of this as well and when I found out, I was mind blown. When you scroll down on the Binance Pay page, you should see a few products on that is live on crypto. This is a list of things you can do other than the regular sending and receipt of money. With this, you can buy airtime, book a hotel, order a meal and book your flight tickets and even way more. It's important to know that these are third party services and the language Binance uses is that they are independent of Binance, but they help use Binance Pay to power these services very, very quickly. For instance, here is crypto refills. You get to pay for many game tokens and gift cards. You can also buy airtime internet bundles. On CoinGate here, you can buy gift cards, not just for games. You can also buy VPN, Skype. You can book hotels from hotels.com, shop on eBay and Starbucks if your country supports that, Steam, PlayStation, Apple, many others. Traveler is another service that helps you book hotels, uh, book hotels and destinations worldwide. You get the idea. You can even check out more of their services on the view more tab. For this video, I'll give you one example using Bitrefill. Uh, the Bitrefill app is one I liked. It's very robust. You can buy gift vouchers from shopping malls, online stores. You can even buy airtime for your modem. You can book a chauffeur, book a hotel, book a flight or even a jet private jet, yeah, if that's what you're into. There's also the options for V-Bucks for Fortnite. You can even pay for electricity bills and there's just so many other services. I can't even start to mention all of them. Okay, this real world example I'll give is pretty straightforward. I want to perform an actual transaction of 
buying airtime. Let's say I click on a service provider. I can enter how much airtime I want to buy. This drop down here shows you which currency you want to use to buy this airtime um, from Binance with. You can choose from USD, Euro, Pounds, and other fiat currencies. You can then also select BTC, Litecoin, Ether, USDT, Dash, and Dogecoin as at the time of making this video. Once you've selected, you can add your number. You will then tap on your cart, click on checkout. It will ask for your email address to send uh, your receipt to or the status of your order to. You will agree to the terms of service and you click continue. A page will show you all of your other details and you can see the payment method which is Binance Pay. You will also see your invoice ID. Once you've confirmed everything is okay, you can hit pay. Once you click on pay, the Binance Pay portal opens with the details. Clicking on continue, you will then use your face ID to verify your payment and once that is done, you see a payment successful model and an other completed model. You'll get a notification that you've bought airtime in less than a second and that's how fast it is to make payments for stuff with Binance Pay. That's pretty much it. This was a real transaction transaction that I showed you, it works quite well. Let me know if there are any more questions that you have for me by leaving them in the comment section below and I'll be right there chatting with you guys about Binance Pay. Please leave a like if you found this video useful in any way and also hit the subscribe button with the bell icon beside it so you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. This video here shows you how you can get verified on Binance Pay quickly and this video here shows you exactly how you can buy and sell cryptocurrency using the P2P method. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and I'll see you in the very next one.